The cleric is healing, the paladin is fighting, there's the wizard and warlock, casting spells around the block, the bard is real wild, the rogue is stolen child, the monk used up all his key, it's time for D and D. The cleric is healing, the paladin is fighting, there's the wizard and warlock, casting spells around the block, the bard is real wild, the rogue is stolen child, the monk used up all his key. Thank <laughs> you.
same quest a day to keep the lich away. Adventuring at best, back to a song of rest. Only been with one bard, he left the DM scarred. They were gonna slay the demons, they were gonna be the stars. They were gonna tame the dragons and dance on the tavern bars. But the DMG is now their enemy. Looks at their average stats, and now the cities been through all the realms from the streets of Baldur's gate and gone through all night hells they didn't make a plan the party split again then the fighter died but was revivified where's the sorcerer when you need him and why's the druid wild shaping to a bird again there's all these sessions on The cleric is healing, the paladin is smiting, there's the wizard and warlock, casting spells around the block, the bard is real wild, the rogue just stole a child, the monk used up all this key, it's time for, time for, time for D&D. Time for D&D. Hello out there in the stream! Happy New Year and welcome to the first session of the New Year of Lost Mine. Uh, it's Z-Man Stardust. How y'all doing? And here's the rest of the gang. Say hi! Hello! Hello. Hey. Yeah. Happy New Year, I mean, it's, guys. It's technically People just December 22nd, 2020, but yeah. <laughs> uh, I hope everybody had a good day today. It's been good. Leo was playing grounded. <laughs> Fun time. It's a lot of bad things. No, it's a game. But uh, Actually, I, I, I almost turned on my Xbox so I could play that game, but I just haven't. Is that like the Honey I Shrunk the Kid type game? Yeah, yeah. it's 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 uh, from what I, it's pretty good. It's from what, everything I've seen, and it's pretty much the forest, but more kid friendly ah i've seen the forest yeah that's literally what grounded is it's just a forest but more kid friendly oh i've also seen grounded okay Oops. yeah i oh. meant to I, I meant but i don't have anybody to play with so that's why i haven't turned on my xbox play with the game. me do it avatar lives a very sheltered life he knows well not of anything you are speaking of Yes. So just there, just to let you guys know, there are two commands that I've input. I have to fix one up a little bit. One is called oh. Cantrip, which is for uh, the Five Kingdoms of Izeri campaign, which is ran by our lovely friend Easter Ray. Easter Ray, sorry, sorry. This is why the tisk tisk tisk. This is why uh, the the man himself who runs it is also a player in my game. So he can correct you when you yeah when I when I screw up. <laughs> it's okay. I make things difficult to pronounce on purpose, anyways. <laughs> that is true. We'll see what's there. That is true. So if you use the uh, the command uh, can trip, you get their uh, Twitch link, and also uh, the command hex. Uh, so I've already put those up yeah. in the chat. So for uh, our good friend uh, David, who is a uh, Better known as our shark person. So, eventually I will have to no, add... No, no longer God. <laughs> Not right oh, now. Dear. But I will have to add one for Cody as well, for the amazing artist that she is. I don't have a Twitch. <laughs> you, I can add your Twitter. Thank you very much. <laughs> I appreciate it. Yeah. So, who's ready to roll tonight? probably mute myself a little bit yeah. um i'm waifu ready <laughs> i noticed the sticker 
I have like a hundred waifu stickers that were sent to me, so what? I'm just gonna find ways to use them. Oh god. Oh what? god, I'm I'm dying. I, I, what just happened? So I do uh, just a quick sidebar. I do have a recording tonight. It is gonna be a special kind of like recording where this is happening off screen kind of a thing. Um, it will be done at a specific time. Um, make sure again your roll twenties master volume is up and you guys are muted when I tell you. And other than that, and no surround sound active. <laughs> Well, if it isn't everyone's favorite adventure. <laughs> oh, <Nope>. God. <laughs> no, it actually isn't that. You will find out what craziness I have in store for you. We'll just we'll find be out aware of what you're part saying, two. because when, you're, when your people say it to us, we're going to attack. <laughs> Which, um, by the, okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have everybody in the game. And it is time to start rolling. So, recap. Thank you. We killed the Sandy Claws. Oh, wait, sorry. Uh, wrong. <laughs> yeah. It, that that was... wasn't Sandy Claws. It was Krampus. <laughs> anyway. That was our one shot. Split into two <laughs> sessions. Anyways. So, you guys, last session of Lost Minds started out the day with an investigation of trying to find out what happened with Alar's sword. Uh, you came across <laughs> Gorky and Darkest, talked to them, found out the the spell Dimension Door was used, and kind of put everybody into a, like, okay, well, we can't do anything right now, but we'll figure something out. Savitar got a, the mission, uh... Lucius got new books. Alar got her new um, uh, lyre, which is pretty powerful. And you and guys, a violin, I believe. Uh, yeah, you had a violin as well. So in case you wanted to use that instead of your magical lyre, which basically stops damage to buildings and whatnot in Anima. Someone Nod. scare a librarian also. No, no, that was how many sessions ago. <laughs> That was, like, the session before last. Yeah. Um, so, you guys had you guys had set off. You heard a goblin getting chased by raptors. You ignored that. So, as you got further into the forest, um, you found there was a, uh, a familiar-looking weasel out in the middle of the forest. Ken immediately assumes uh, it's Mead. He runs to go hug. And he Roll runs, to go hug. He ran to go hug and unfortunately got a swipe at him, but he it did miss, but then realized, oh wait, there's a second one. Oh shit. This isn't mead. Quack. And quack! This is now where we had left off. So I hear Donald Duck's like dying sound from Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> <laughs> So, you guys assume there are two of them, as you can tell from the map. So, and Ken did hide in the tree. So, everybody, roll me initiative! This is how we start the night already. <laughs> yes, good. Uh -huh. Oh, oh <laughs> oh boy. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh, all god. of the all of the stealthy people are rolling horribly. Oh, I don't oh, understand I'm what's happening food. here. Oh no. I think the... there's something wrong with the dice. Holy I need crap. to roll. No. R and <laughs> I'm gonna drop it. No, I'm kidding. I know I would cry too. I have I have the highest initiative bonus too, so that's sad. No, I have a nine, but even then, <laughs> I rolled oh. a two. Um, hey, oh boy. for Savitar, I think your uh, I think your uh, digital dice are on for roll twenty, or, or not roll twenty for uh, D and D Beyond, because of the way it rolled. Ding? 
Can you roll for me? I'm That's the food even up. worse. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, you know what? Those don't count, but you got the two nat 20s out of the way. <laughs> I mean, nat one. Two nat one. That's it. I quit. <laughs> Digital dice scale for these. Sorry, right. 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 you Sav Sav you're still doing pretty good. Savitar and Ken are just going to. Gonna take a oh. step out. We're gonna have a <laughs> Can you All right. Back? Yeah. You I'm, me? I'm getting my boots up. Smoke that's break. that's totally fine. I'm getting to your page at the moment. I had my cigarette before. Can. <laughs> he had a cigarette. I had my one. cigarette after. Oof. Oof. <laughs> I'll be rolled to now. one. I'm pretty sure Doge just took out his pipe and started smoking, like, like, actual ganj. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. And Zaruk has advantage, so you yeah, got a 20. Yeah, like, all of the... <laughs> My god. Oh, boy. Um, That's our... amazing how, like, the ones with the lowest initiative bonus got the highest rolls of the yeah. ones. <laughs> 18. What? That's what happens when you have advantage on them. Yeah, 11. But even then, your 16 trumps, like, 90% of the party. 12. Okay, maybe 80%. Six. There's uh, Lucius at a 17, but still, like, damn. Uh, Alar is a 13. Right? No. Yes. Yes. No. What the f 10. What the hell? Doesn't matter how bad you feel in yeah, D&D, someone always rolls worse. 17 and 20. And then... You know, David, you say that, but it wasn't last Saturday. It was two Saturdays ago. <laughs> whenever we were fighting in that mansion, I kept getting the, the horrible rolls. It's like, yeah, it, someone's always got to roll worse than you. And it's like, yeah, yeah, I know. But I know. When? But when is it going to happen? Ah, uh, hold on. When I'm trying to defend y'all, and it's like, nah. Uh, Miss. I'll tell you, I'm getting pretty damn good at creating some D and D characters, though. Hey, you're doing pretty well, sir. Uh, I need yeah. to add that safe setting. Who else? Uh, Me and Cody are in this other campaign together, and um. <laughs> I just got a rework of my character because he went through some shit and he lost an arm. Ooh. I was about to say some shit. He lost an arm. I mean, so, I would say that's some shit. Uh, I would so, say that's some shit. So let me get some music going here and then we will begin with Zaruk <laughs> once I get the music was, going. Was it his good arm? His dominant. It was. N I don't wait. It's his left hand. I don't know. As a noble, wouldn't he be raised as a righty? Not necessarily. Can you hear the music, guys? Yeah, yeah that's negative. I'm not. Oh, okay. I'm. I'm a little yeah, more feel working. Like. Oh, there we go. Never mind. I'm a little more okay with this vibe. It All started right. off pretty like ominous and like douche douche. Yeah. Now it's all funky. <laughs> all right, we are starting with Zaruk the Butcher. Let's get funky, funky, funky. <laughs> Feels like we're about to fight a rival gang. To the left. Let's take it back, y'all. Y'all. Bye, bye, first time. I'll, I'll run up and skid to a stop 25 feet. Oh, I forgot. I just damn it. I got distracted. How far was that? There. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> Wish this thing let you switch faster. Right? There, right? There, there we go. And I will uh, throw my hand axe at it. Alright, hand axe. As you throw it, it oh, just. I'm going into a rage. Oh, you are? Okay, bonus yeah, action rage, and as you throw the hand axe, it just lands right next to its foot, unfortunately. Ah. Fine. It's alright. And that shall conclude. That, that'd be my turn. Yes. That shall conclude the turn of Zaruk. Now we are up to Mithiri Iron Fist. Okay, let's see. Up there. Yeah, I'll do that. 
it. I'll move here. Okay. And then I will. I'll just throw my javelin at that uh, death weasel in front of me. Okay. Go for it. Not 20. Okay, hold on. I was naming this one really quick. I forgot to it's name him. Nice. So, you hit Death Weasel A with a natural 20 with a javelin. You just kind of and hit it square in the shoulder for 10 damage. Not bad. Nice. All right, and I think that'll be it for me because I don't really have much for bonus section. So, yeah, that'll be it for my turn. All right, give me two seconds. Let me name the other one really quick. Death Weasel. It doesn't matter what you name them. There's How about the first one, Skewered? <laughs> well, what were the names? How about, what were the names of the weasels from Who Framed Roger Rabbit? I I never don't. watched it. Well, no. Sorry. Okay. I don't remember, honestly. That was a long time ago. I thought they were just the Weasel Gang. Yeah. I don't think they had names either. Okay. Well, they probably had names, but they were probably like generic gangster names. <laughs> Put that up. Uh, Lucius, you are up. Um. Oh. Lucius is going to skirt past Sabotar up here. Okay. Skirt, skirt. Uh, and he is going to throw a fireball over, or not a fireball, but a firebolt <laughs> oh! uh, over. Oh God! Over Mithiri's head. And all of us did it. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, just... so which one are you? Sacrifice. Oh, oh well. Well. Uh, so as you wave your hand and oh, cast for this, this fl flaming bolt, it guides along and just is a little too short. And puffs out. Bonus action. Yep. Bonus action. Um, uh, can I? No. Uh, I'm just gonna. That's my turn. Okay. I don't have anything else. Alright, save setting. Sorry, I was still messing with some stuff as I was. Mm -hmm. Just looked up their names. It's a smart ass, sicko, wacko. <laughs> smart no, ass, sick. Greasy, psycho, wheezy, stupid. <laughs> it's like the seven dwarves. Okay. All right. With that, <clears throat> excuse me. It is now. Let me click next on the encounter. Doge, you are up. Okay. I am going to see the danger, uh, uh, run one, two, three, four, five, six next to my Faran. All right. And I'm going to, I don't know if I want to chance it, guys. We're going for a second level magic missile. Woo! So, aim your bullets where you want to go. At the one dude in front of me. Okay, so... so the dude in this guy. So, A. Okay. This one? Yeah. So, five yes. points of damage for the first missile. Oh, shit. You have more uh, missiles to fire, remember? Two, two, three... Did it roll four? Uh, it did one, two, three, four. Yes. Two nat ones. Fuck me, dude. Hey, but you know what? You're still doing dude. damage to it. <laughs> As it just gets pelted um, by four force bullets. It just goes... <laughs> Does it die? No. <laughs> well, then that, that... Okay. That's what I want to know. Is it dead yet? <laughs> it's hurt. It's hurt. <laughs> Nobody's gonna hurt my friends. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you haven't hurt anybody yet. 
Not yet. But he's saying. And they ain't gonna. <laughs> Do you have a bonus Isn't action? It? Um, my bonus action would be magic weapon, and I will cast that on Lucius's weapon. Lucius, is your um, weapon magical by nature my already? My weapon is already magical. Oh, well, then it won't work. Okay. Um, goodbye, friend. Have a good one with your magical weapon. Uh, right. That's it. That's all I can do. All right. With that, that's still pretty damn good. Savitar, you are up. Going to regret this. Yep. Savitar rolls a five. He draws Elemental Katana with... Gloom, Stalker, uh, or sorry, Dread Ambusher. So what is a uh, five? Would... Good question. I'm trying to look that up. Uh, five is Thunder. Ooh. So you just have this swirling black cloud that could make a booming noise. When so you I'm going to sort of dash and fail anime style go straight through myth and uh zaruk brain failing zaruk so zaruk just dart right in between them right up to the weasel and stab at it all right go for the Got stabby it. stab one moment all right and hold on hold on that's weird that you have a 13 and a 26 rolling. Huh. I think. Well, I I had it automatically set for rolling twice, just in case there was a disadvantage or advantage roll. I can turn that off, but it came useful. Oh, okay. Rather than rolling twice every time there was a, a second roll needed. Mm -hmm. I feel Sometimes but I feel I can, like it uh, wastes a nat 20 that you could have got, though. Well, if you hold shift, it should do it for you. you yeah. Do I mean, that. if we rolled actual dice, it wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's why I'm like... Alright. Uh, yeah, I'll make, it, I'll make it normal roll. But, here's the thing. You do hit with a 13. Whoa. Impressive. So, you do 8 slashing damage. I'm assuming you're going <laughs> one-handed. <laughs> Uh, well, technically, I'm I'm, I'm two-handing it. Okay, so then it would be... I don't have any other weapons, so that should have been a D... It did, I don't it, know why it... It did a D10. You got a nat 1 on a D10. A nat 1 on a D10? Yep. Dear God. Okay, Six well, damage plus... Okay. That's a shame. Four thunder? Uh, no, hold on. It's going... Wait, no... Yeah, the thunder is the four. Uh, cold fire. Yeah, thunder four. So you do temp. <laughs> Holy crap. Um. <laughs> That's eighteen points. Of uh, no, it's ten points of damage. Holy shit. You slash into That's this wh much. weasel, and it's just it's howling as the blood spurts from its. Uh, rib cage it's so not it's dead still alive, huh? it's still alive but god that hurt well with dread ambush uh, so he does have one additional weapon attack okay so. just to let you know as you went down that thunder damage just kind of boomed and cracked a few of its ribs good i want to hit it again <laughs> <laughs> fuck a 21 hits <laughs> With ten with the two handed this time, eleven points of damage. Good God! This well, thing... then again, I hang on, hold up. Let me let me backtrack here because it's supposed to do an additional oh, D8, D8 damage. That's specifically so... what it says for dread ambushes. So, so let's go with your I one, guess one handed the splashing. Yeah, yeah, we'll go with seven and then so eight points of damage. Oh my God! At least I didn't. This well, thing is fun. like, you slash again at the same point and dig deeper and like break the ribs that aren't, uh, that were just cracked. It's still hanging on by a thread, but it, it oh, oh, ow. Fine, I will do nothing else. I should have hunter's mark before I rushed in, son of a bitch. 
It's okay. Moving on. Have fun. With that, Alar, it is now your turn. Uh, Heidi. Thanks, come on. <laughs> within range? Yes, I am just within range. I'm gonna point at him and I'm gonna use True Strike. Okay. Go ahead and. and True Strike! Yeah, I'm just it. Alright, you point to a target in range. Your magic grants you a brief insight to its defenses. On your next attack, you gain advantage on your first attack. So. What are you doing? Are you just doing true strike? No. Mm -hmm. Bonus action, bardic inspiration. Bardic inspiration. Ooh. Who are you I'm giving? I'm gonna give it to Savitar because he needs it. <laughs> nice. Damn it. What is your bardic inspiration dice so that he can roll that with it? Ability check, attack, or saving throw. D6. D6. So remember, you have a D6 bardic inspiration. Okay, and I and I choose when to use that. Correct. So on one ability check, attack or saving throw. Okay, attack roll, but not damage roll. Correct. And I can choose to. Sorry, I can choose to add that after I roll, or yeah, I roll essentially, after. yeah, after. You can, okay. This can be added after seeing the roll, but before knowing the outcome. Yes. Got it. Perfect. It is now the enemy's turn. The weasel's turn. So let me do number letter A is not happy at uh, Savitar, so it is going to make a bite attack and does a seventeen hit. My AC. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so you take eight piercing damage as it clamps down on your, uh, your side. <laughs> Shoulder. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, and... Eight, it... eight damage, you said, yeah. Yes. <clears throat> um, B is going to... You know what? Uh... How much feet of movement do these guys have? Wow, 50 feet of movement, shit. Um. Okay, that one's gonna go there really quick. Um. <clears throat> so yeah, this one makes sense. Oof. So, as this one, where the hell is it set to token layer? This one's going to dash right here, token layer. And... That one as well. So, B's going to attack um, Alar with a bite as well. <clears throat> and Alar, does the 17 hit you, son of a bitch? <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> so, um, I didn't even add the plus two because you're getting flanked by two of them. Uh, seven piercing. And then there's one that comes up behind you and, uh, does a bite attack as well behind you. Does a seven hit? No. So you, you hear the, the weasel run up and try to snap as after you get bit with the first one and you're like, <gasps> no. Bad weasel. You're not mead. 
<laughs> and <laughs> then Weasel D is going to... I don't think I finished its movement, but... Blah, blah, blah. Going to... Let me make sure to put Ken... Oh my god. Uh, I forgot I had my camera on. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Uh, to front. So This one, it's going to attack Myth with a claw attack. And it tries to swipe down with a 9. Does a 9 hit? Yeah. So it bangs its claws off of its shield very heavy. And then this one's going to move here and finish its movement and hit, try to bite Zaruk. And while Zaruk is raging, does a 13 oh, hit? My sweet green skin. Do you? Does it hit? Negative. All right. As Negative. you just smack it over the head, like lightly to go. Huh, you don't. Uh, it doesn't bite you. And with that, it is now... Ken, you are up. Um, Ken uh, spins his uh, creeping rot into, into the palm of his claws, and then he's going to hop down and stab this one in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> 10,000 years of pain. Go for the roll. Oh. Uh, 14 hits. Also, Ayla, I forgot. Uh, roll a concentration check for True Strike. Because you did get hit. That's true. You, you pass. Um, so, a 14 hits with 8 piercing. Um, need to make a con save for this thing. Oh, boy. Uh, it got a 15 con save, so I don't. Yeah, the ne the necrosis okay. doesn't take effect. Um, but uh -huh. that is letter. I'm zooming in to see which one that is, just to make sure. Jeez, uh, 14 points of damage. <laughs> Nothing to sneeze mm. at. Which that is letter B. Oh man. As you come down, um, hopping from the tree, you just stab it right above the tail and just... It's... <laughs> and it turns its head towards you. He's going to... He's over here. He's going to go back to back with Alar. <laughs> so, uh, okay. Cool. Alright. <laughs> this is a first. <laughs> That provoke an attack of opportunity. It does no because I'm because I don't think so. Uh, I'm wondering if if you were right there next to it, and no, you moved that far away from it. But I was in the I was at the tree. You jumped initially. from the tree, but you dropped down and onto, then ran onto this one. I'm a roll. I'm a roll. Some have a bonus action. Just saying, if, if not, then no, I'm not. I'm not trying. Get... I understand. Yep. I'm just saying. It's gonna get if in that it. Attack, if that invokes an attack of opportunity, it might, it might, it might actually hit the weasel because I was on top of its back. Does, a, tw to does a twenty-three too. hit? Yep, it hits. You take. You take a bonus a, action. Yeah. Discount eight. Don't you have a bonus action disengage as a row? Yes, I do have a bonus action disengage. Did you want to do that instead? Did... I nope. was going to say... Nope. Oh. Okay. Right. Uh, <laughs> then, uh, yeah, you take nine piercing damage as you s jump down from the back of that one, and the one that was kind of paying attention to me notices a bit of a blur and just snaps at you and hits you. Uh, in response... To, to getting to getting bitten though he's going he's going to stab him back with repost okay boop, boop, boop. stab him back stab him back stab him back 13 hits 
con save. Let's go. 16 con. We're good on that front. But 14 points of damage to Weasel D. That hurt. As you uh, boop it in, in the cheek. With that stab. No touchy. Boof into rupees. <laughs> no touch baby. And with that, it is now Zaruk again. It's not even dead, guys. <laughs> well, this is a different one. <laughs> yeah, no. these are all different ones. So, Wait, which one's the damaged my... one at this the point? one that's in front of Zavatar. The, re the one that's almost on death's door is the, the one, one in front of... A. So, Zaruk. Alright. So, uh, with my uh, ancestral orc family around me, I attack the weasel in front of me with Reckless. Ooh, go for it! 25 hits! Ooh, he did that. Damn. One handed? Um, one handed for 12 damage. 12 damage on Weasel E. Let me put that in really quick. As your ancestral family. Actually, that's 14 damage because of your rage, correct? Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, I did another two. Yeah. <laughs> I actually put it in as 14, which is great. So as you come down with that cleaving that's strike, a... you just kind of chunk off a, a, a bit of its uh, leg. That um, hurt. <clears throat> Z-Man. And, yeah. Yeah, but I forgot to add my superior superiority die <clears throat> to uh, the damage ah. for the other weasel die stab. Okay, that's fine. So uh, that's an additional four. Cool. Uh, go ahead, uh, Brandon, as I'm doing that damage. But I was just saying that that would be ending my turn. Oh, okay. The uh, orc orc family starts. Uh, putting shields in front of it to try to distract it. Oh, okay. I like the flavor. I like the flavor. Myth, you are up. Okay. I'm going to use uh, my, one of my bonus actions first. I'm going to use Giant Might. Oh, display that for me. Giant Might. You imbue yourself with the might of giants as a bonus action. You gain the following benefits for one minute. If you are smaller than large, you become large. Anything you wear. Okay. Okay, I see this. Make I'm myself the like. girl. All right. <laughs> and then with Silver Sorrow, I'll attack the weasel directly in front of me. So you drop your your giant crossbow now. And you pull out this sword. You no, know, I had a javelin. I didn't. Oh have... right, my bad, my I bad. Javelin. You pull out silver sorrow, and you just. Oh boy, it gleams in the sunlight, in your giant form. And you take a swing. Up. Oh. Eight unfortunately misses as it is. It just it kind of lurches back. Taken aback from you growing. All right. Um, and with that, it is now. God, that <laughs> that giant's might. Lucius. Uh, Lucius is going to uh kind of pick up a rock off the ground, oh, and he's no. going to whisper into it. Uh, Jivin. And he's going to let loose a catapult at level 2. Ooh, okay. Are you... Beating... And I'm yeah. giving the uh, weasel disadvantage by spending three meta magic points. Okay. He has to make a DC 14 save with disadvantage. DC... So... Oh, wow. Control, disadvantage... Come on. Oh, damn! <laughs> so it was which one that you were tossing it this okay one. so b so it does fail because of your meta magic so you toss the stone with magical means 
and you hit with 19 bludgeoning damage. Oh, this weasel. Oh, like, you, you pelted it really hard in the hind leg, and it is bleeding. Like, you kind of dug the stone in. And it, oh, oh, oh. Heck yeah. Jeez. What were you saying, David, by so the way? Then, uh, Lucius in between the weasel and uh, to kind of form the line there. Okay. Um, and he's going to take out his dagger and he's just going to look as big as possible to make sure it attacks or to try to make sure it attacks him instead of uh, Aelor. Aelor, Aelor. Or, uh, <laughs> um, okay. I'm going to give you a free action of a persuasion check. Persuasion? Yes. 21. 21. Yeah, because you pelted it with that rock, it actually looked towards you. So it kind of sees like you're trying to go, hey, right. that was me. Come and get me. <laughs> and okay. with. Serene, Serene. Raptors are back. <laughs> He's Raptors are back. <laughs> no, that isn't Raptors. Doge, you are up. Um, David, what were you saying? Because you kind of got cut off. Oh, I don't. Oh, no. He was oh, it was something Leo. about pinwheels. He's eating pinwheels right now, and I'm fucking hungry. Oh. <laughs> Three, four. I'm going to come up here. Next to Kenku Boy and uh, whack it with Hell Scream. Ooh, all right. Three I charges. Would... You are discharging three charges. All right, along with it. So go for the whack. Are you two-handing or one-handing? Two-handing. Ah, uh, an eleven unfortunately misses. Uh. Display in VTT uh, Hell Scream for me really quick. What? Uh, long sap. Blah, 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 blah. When you hit with a melee attack, you expend up to three charges. Okay, so when you actually hit. All right, so, so I you. Didn't expend anything. Correct. I wanted. That's what I wanted to make sure for you. Badass. Actually, thank you. Yeah. No, no I, hey, I'm a humble DM to make sure that things are done correctly in that sense. So, you come down and it you whiff right by the nose. Because you're two under. And so, it just, it felt like the, the reverbing psychic energy and just was like, no. That's all. All right. Savitar. All right. Uh, well, I'm going to attack the one that tried. Well, not tried. That tried to eat me. Same. I stab at it. All right. Or attempt to stab at it. Dear God. Uh, well, fortunately, you try to thrust it's forward for. Before. Wait. You well, have bardic I, yeah. inspiration. Nah, you already, but you already told me what. The no, no, no. I will, will get. I just remembered. Nope, 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 nope. You still have bardic inspiration. You still have bardic inspiration. I don't know if I want to waste it right now. Ah, screw it. Yeah, we'll 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 run with it. So it's a. So I roll a d6. Or roll me a. D roll. Just roll a d6. Okay. Doesn't it only last for ten minutes? Yeah, ten minutes in in a well, row. 10 minutes is a lot. Nope, 11 doesn't hit it. Either. Damn. It's a, it'll last the whole match, but like, yeah. if you don't remember to use it for the rest of the match, then there's a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Damn. Uh, so you you get really close, but it just, it wiggles out of the way just in time. Yeah. But God damn, you almost had it. Uh, bonus action. One, I'm, I'm on it with a ranged son of a bitch this is not gonna work uh no nah, i don't got shit um i'm gonna have to end my turn there that's fine miss alar all right which one's the one i marked 
Uh, it I would be. I kind of lost track of who it is. <laughs> it would be B, the one that's right uh, in front of you, on the this side. Yes. Ah. <coughs> All right, I'm a I'm a whacking with my sword. Go for the it. Sword that Savitar so kindly gave me as a replacement. Sixteen hits. Wait, it's advantage. advantage. I do. I do have an advantage. Sixteen. It still hits either way. So, are you two-handing or one-handing? Two-handing. Two-handing. I'm trying not to look at the results. The yeah, she'd be two-handing because she doesn't have a shield. That's fine. Uh, I, that's why I'm asking because I know you weren't looking at results, but I wanted to know what you felt she would be doing. So, as you two-hand it, you come down and just cleave a chunk out of the shoulder blade, and that hurt really, really, really bad. It is on death's doorstep. Alright. Another bonus action, I will give another bardic inspiration out. Okay. This time I'm gonna be um give be giving it to uh, Lucius. Alright, Lucius, you get a bardic inspiration. What is your inspirational quote saying song? What are you what are you thinking? Me? Yeah, Miss Bard. Another rock. <laughs> that is that is the right kind of inspiration. For me. <laughs> and with that is now the weasel's turn. The first weasel that is hurt very badly and in battle with Savitar goes for a bite attack. Uh, Savitar, does a 16 hit? Nope. So, as it comes down, you just... <laughs> you bop it on the nose with the flat of your sword and go, No! <laughs> I am not your dinner, you stupid mongrel. <laughs> B is gonna try to, uh, hit Lucius. With a, uh... Bite attack. Lucius Come does on. a 12 hit. Nope. So, you uh, just pirouette out of the way with uh, the attack. Good lord. Cat like reflexes. Like Letter C is going to. So. It's not happy that a shark man just tried to whack it with a stick. It's gonna try to hit the shark man. Rawr. David does an 11 hit. Uh, good question. I literally <laughs> just had that screen. Apologies. <laughs> no, you're good. Uh, no. No. So. It does not. You you, you kind of like Rafiki style. <laughs> <laughs> like bat the stick. In front of its face, to so that it doesn't bite you. <laughs> um, letter D. D is going to try to bite down on the big giant Mithiri. Mithiri does a eight hit. I'm pretty sure no. You just push it back with your shield. Good lord. And letter E. E's going to try to bite down on Zaruk while his uh, ans his ancestral guardians are standing there. Does a 19 hit Zaruk the if Butcher? If it's the one that I attacked, it would have advantage. Ah, uh, oh. Okay, yes. It I is. Attacked reckless. That is true. I um... forgot about that. So let's see. Yes, yeah, so a 19. Does a 19 hit? Mm, yes, it does. It, your armor class is 18. So you take what would have been 8 piercing damage, but since you, uh, you have your ancestral uh, form around you as you rage, it cuts it down to 4 piercing damage. Do I need to mark that on your sheet for you? No, I got it. Okay, cool. 
Cool. And with that, we are now on to... Whoa, I don't want to... No, no, bad computer. Ken, you're up. Uh, Leo, your mic's not working. We're just gonna try to fend off the one that, uh, is, uh, attacking Yalar right now. Alright. Just gonna, just gonna give it a little swipe on the paw. <laughs> Leo, swamp! I hope it gets infected. Uh, unfortunately, oh, no. it kinda, uh, bats your hand away and doesn't, in you, doesn't work. Um, he's gonna poof up his feathers and look menacing. And <laughs> menacing? <laughs> he's a Ouch. big football. Don't, don't patronize him. He's actually Ouch. standing back to back with you. Don't patronize him. He's like standing on his tippy toe claws. Too bad you don't have a soundboard that says, WHERE'S MEAD?! <laughs> <laughs> he does now. I know, right? But that that's a that's an out-of-game scream. <laughs> so with that, it is now Zaruk the Butcher. How are you going to butcher this? Yeah, guys, how are we going to butcher this? I can continue to press the attack. Alright, go for the swing. Are you going to Reckless? Natural Ooh. 20! Oof. Good God. Two-handed swing. swing and like, in like the, the, uh, the spirits of my ancestors coalesce for a moment so the attack just hits home where it should. <laughs> oh, yeah, it does. <laughs> you oof. 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 Good God, E takes 17 points of slashing damage as that c comes down. Oh, yeah, so that's actually two more points of damage. Good God. Um, as it comes down, you just, you, oh, I want to say you cleave off a good chunk of its fur its side and two ribs with that hit it's oh. it's <laughs> oof yeah it's bleeding but it's still staying up as best as it can good god we just need to put it out of its misery you need to put like two of these out of its misery already i'm out of their misery <laughs> yeah i would like to enjoy their misery <laughs> Dude. At the cost Please. of what? All death? Oh, jeez. Uh, no bonus action, if I remember correctly. So if that is the end, Mithiri, the giant dwarf. All right, let's try it again. Wow, Phil. Okay. Damn. Damn. Cool. Unfortunately, it's just, it's a, it's a giant, it's basically a regular battle between a, a, a nice seven foot weasel and a eight foot dwarf, yep. you know? All right. So. All right, that's my turn. Okay. With that, we are now on to Lucius. Lucius is going to try to dagger this, this guy to death. All right, dagger, dagger, dagger. Oh, it's Bar Bar shame. Bardic inspiration. What? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I love the week. Keep right? forgetting. <laughs> 13. Uh, 13 hits. And with yeah. heaven piercing Seven. damage, that is. So, Lucius, you're like. I need to hit. I need to protect Alar. I need to protect the mistress. And you feel her, the guy. Oh it. God. <laughs> hey, you know what? You I don't know. Do it for him. 
That's a thing for God. him. Oh, I know. No. <laughs> Still gonna shout nah. <laughs> <laughs> he imprinted. He Im <laughs> like, I need to protect the mistress. And as you feel her hands. her guiding inspiration, you kill it. So you uh he kinda like jumps on its back and he just starts stabbing into its neck repeatedly. <laughs> uh like he just let loose everything that happened in his dream last night. <laughs> uh, just completely lets go and just keeps stabbing you know what? while mumbling something about Quilheen. Mumbling what? Something about Quilheen. 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 Which means torture in drow. Ah. Ah. Oh. Unfortunately, nobody speaks his drow language. So he just looks like a maniac stabbing yep. a dead body. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And I put I'm you on. Really concerned. I put you on top you of the body. Dead horse. You beat that dead horse. <laughs> <laughs> All right. With that, it is now Doge. You are up. Let's go again. Roll it. Uh, I'm angry. You're angry. Go for it. 21 hits. Mm, all three charges. So Let's go. Power two, level over 9,000. Two, Two-handed, <laughs> if I remember correctly. Very good. Okay. So you've done eight damage so far. Rolled me two more psychic charges. Those are the, uh, the 1d6? Yes. So, 8, plus yeah, 9, wow. 10, Average. 11, 12, 13, 14 points of damage to C. C hasn't been damaged. As you come down with Hellscream, the internal... <laughs> rattles its brain. And that hurt. Good yeah, lord. I'm coming for you. Your grandchildren are going to feel this. Oh, boy. Oh. <laughs> if there is grandchildren. <laughs> Savitar. Yes. Stabby, stabby. Oh, let's go at it again. Same piece of crap mongrel that's trying to turn me into dinner. I want to stab it and burn it a crisp with thunder damage. Assuming this elemental katana actually hits it. Do something. Oh. Son of a bitch. Son of a... You, you're, you're just, you're angry at this thing, and you just keep barely missing on the nose. <sighs> that close. I'm out. That close. <laughs> Damn. Alar. I mean. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, I'm going to. Can I try? Oh, now it wouldn't be able to understand me. Never mind, I'm just gonna stab it. Okay. Go for the stabby <laughs> I was, stab. I was looking at, com was looking at command. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, long sword, 22 hits with six slashing yeah, damage. Six Eight. slashing. So you uh, give it a nice little onto it so that hurt and it squeals in pain oh <sighs> good lord um death death weasel number one which is in front of uh savitar tries to bite even though it's in serious pain does a 19 hit savitar Am I muted? Yes. Hello? Yeah, yeah, it does it. Okay, you take eight piercing damage as it comes down and bites you on the leg. Letter B is dead. Letter C... Hmm... Is going to go after the one that gave it more damage. Cause that also hurt really bad. Uh, does a seven hit? Doge. 
I don't think so. I just want to ask. A seven does not hit. <laughs> so you just you're waving that stick really, like you know, are you gonna try it again? <laughs> uh, letter D is going to try to bite at Mithiri. And I'm assuming an 11 just it presses up against your shield again. You guys are having a war of attrition. And let her eat. And e. they're gonna die. So, uh, it was a reckless attack. It's going for the bite. Does an 18 hit, Zaruk? I think your armor class is 18. Yes, it is. Seven piercing, Zaruk, or I should say three because you are raging. As your ancestral guardians protect your body from this piercing damage. Um, Ken. Ken is gonna go behind the weasel and stab its butt again. <laughs> go for the stabby stab. Get a plus two on your, uh, so 22 hits. Uh, eight piercing, eight sneak. Uh, so 16 points of damage already. Albino Weasel, con save. It passed, unfortunately, but you still did 16 points of damage to it. God damn. So as you basically poke it in its hindquarters, it's, it howls in pain and rears up and it's it's hurt very bad. Good God, you are leaving most of these things in freaking like. He, he's gonna he's gonna stick his tongue out, and then go up in the tree. <laughs> uh, bonus action disengage. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Zaruk. Yeah. <laughs> I love you too, buddy. <laughs> I will attack that weaselly weasel. All okay. right, go for it. 18 hits. Uh, and 13 points of damage. Holy crap, hold on, let me uh. So that one is letter E. Plus two damage. So, um, yeah, yeah. Brandon? I keep forgetting about that. I don't wear bar. I don't use barbarians often enough. Yeah, I, I sometimes I forget too, but I'll remember when I'm putting in damage. How do you want to kill this uh, this weasel? I bring the axe right into its mouth, and then I kick it so it splits the top half of its of its head oh, away from its body. Oh, 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 oh. disgusting kill! Fatality. As Fatality. As well as yeah. As you let out a monstrous roar at, from your rage and as your ancestral guardians also let out a roar, but you obviously can't be heard, but they are with you. That is beautiful, sir. That was beautiful. They're silently screaming like many of us in 2020. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mithiri, you're up. All right, let's see third time's the charm. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, 23 oh. hits! And one-handing, so that's 13 points 13 of damage. 13 points of damage. Oh, I'm also dying, I also do additional damage. Yes, you do. Oh, yeah. Was it like a D6, was it? Yeah. Additional five. Additional wow. five. So, 17, 18 point. points of damage onto Weasel D. As you come down, the cold kind of freezes over the slice of the wound. And it is howling in pain in that death's door. Good God, you guys. Put these things out of their misery. Lucius, 
<laughs> you are up. Um, Lucius, he still kind of like has one arm around the the thing's neck with the dagger inside of its neck, and he's just gonna point the other hand uh, towards the one Mathiri is fighting. Mm-hmm. He's just gonna shout, "Bang!" and he's gonna fire both. <laughs> Bang! <laughs> 25 hits! Let's see. Oh, damn! You you yell out bang and the firebolt just collides and singes the fur. It is... It is... It's teetering. It's teetering. And just for good sport, for my bonus action, I'm just going to do a few more stabs. <laughs> okay. Into the current one. <laughs> uh, and that'll be the turn. Yeah, all right. You don't need a roll for that, but that okay. <laughs> Is that AR the hard kill you killed? Good idea. Oh my god! What was that? <laughs> you're Sorry, gonna, what? you're gonna find out. <laughs> Doge, you're up. Like it literally, I hear AR okay. and it cuts out. <laughs> I am getting a bounce gift. Oh god. I'm going oh. for a cantrip toll the dead. All right, roll. Give me that toll the dead. Roll the d12. Didn't it roll? No, you have to answer saying, "Did it take damage?" On roll twenty. Oh, it, oh, there it is. Yes. I didn't get the box. That's fine. <laughs> and yes, it has because I've dealt it damage. Yes, you have. Wisdom saving throw. Oh, they they have a decent wisdom. Let's see. Oh, Seventeen passes. Oh fuck, dude. Is that half? Uh, I think it's a can trip that doesn't do half, huh? Can no. Trips are no. no okay. Yeah. It's okay. Right. I, I was I literally saw it teeter on the edge of, near a one, and I'm like. <gasps> And then it, it, I didn't see what it landed on, but I was like, oh, I see the one on the side. Oh, my God. I was like, damn, it's going to get a nat one. <laughs> oh, yeah, damn, so close. Savitar. All right. This damn thing is still alive. <laughs> I'm going to stab at it again. <laughs> Keep doing it until you get it right, or until you die. 24 hits! As you... You, um... You come through with your all your anger, and you slice through the head, the explosion of thunder just... Pops the head off. And kind of mince meets it. From the thunder damage. It is officially and I'm going dead. To- Go ahead. I'm gonna be dumb. I'm Savitar's pissed. I'm gonna be dumb. He's gonna point to th- this one and he's like, "You're next, you stupid piece." Of <laughs> and he will hunter's market. All right, hunter's market. Hopefully, it doesn't die before. Well, I'll just switch it if I have to. That's but fine. He's pissed. He wants these things dead. So, <laughs> Alar, you're up. Alrighty. That's the wrong. Button. Uh, with him. you walked away from the other one. That one's going to try to take an attack of opportunity. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, with the nine, I'm pretty sure it misses. So, yeah, as, it misses. As, you, as, it, as you're walking away and it tries to bite, Doji's like, No, 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 you're mine, you're mine, you're mine. <laughs> <laughs> Doge is really into whacking the shit out of this thing. Whack Which, a weasel. <laughs> it's weasel. It's weasel stopping day for uh, for good old Hex. <laughs> the weasels on the bus go die, die, die. Come on. <laughs> All right. That stabbing, was stabbing this one with a long sword. Yes, a fourteen hits. Hang on, let me double check the damage. With two, oh and my god, 15. 13 points of damage, and that is Weasel. That is Weasel D. Yeah, um, Alar, 
How do you want to kill this thing? I'm probably just gonna stab it. From through the mouth to the back of the skull to just take it out. Put it out of its misery. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Ooh, fatality. Good lord. And with that, that one is dead as well. Good god. <laughs> god can't save you now. Uh, Weasel C. Weasel C is gonna try its best to attack. Does a 24 hit, Doge? I am. Oof. Ow. So, it's just like, in its f fight instincts, it bites down hard with seven piercing damage. Ow. Ken, you're up. Leo, I think your mics. Oh, wait, what? Did he die then? Leo! Yeah, got that, Leo! Yes. It's your turn. Sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he fell asleep on the couch, didn't he? Wow. I did not. I actually was cuddling up next to Toby. Oh. It was warm. I didn't want to leave. <laughs> um, well, you, you have to leave. You're in the middle of the game. I know, <laughs> which is why I came over. <laughs> All right, what do you do, right. sir? This should probably stab. This should probably finish it. Stabby, stabby, stabby. Yes, with 17 points of damage. Uh, how are you going to uh, finish this one off? He's gonna, he's, he's gonna drop on him. He's gonna stab it straight down, and he's gonna let his weight take care of the rest. <laughs> Oof. And with that. Combat is officially over. Jesus, oh, fuck. So, okay. uh, not that. is currently covering his face in the shape of a or in the shape of a skull with face paint of blood right now. <laughs> Just so everyone knows what he's doing. That's... There's a couple of things that I would like to take from this scene. Okay. And that would be um, a pair of ears and a tail. Okay. Yeah, oh, I know yeah. why. And I would like to add that. On. You, you may add that to your um, collection. Now it is a D7. Fuck. <laughs> Death Weasel Shark Man. Jesus. <laughs> How do oh. I edit this shit? <laughs> Oh, oh, I can't wait to wear this tail. Oh boy, this is gonna be interesting. We're gonna have so much fun. This is gonna I... be a wool. <laughs> You're gonna wear its tail? <laughs> oh, actually I don't know, maybe one day. <laughs> right? Oh my god, the thousand years of death. <laughs> it could turn out that I never ever get to play as this version of doge you never like, know you never you know you never know dude you never know what is what else is everybody doing i'm sure myth you uh you go brr, 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 brr. yep let me get you I back mean, i don't think there's anything worth looting from the weasels it's up to you guys if you want to loot yeah. anything i'll try a hand see if there's anything good out of them okay so what would that be Roll um, survival. All right. Sixteen. Uh. <laughs> Should I be really messed up? Um. You. <laughs> what? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Uh. You. Hmm. You a PG, kids are listening. <laughs> I really want Brandon to cover his kids' ears. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> what kind of gizzards did I, did I find? 
I mean, I have headphones in, so he can't hear most of this anyway. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, <laughs> he hasn't been seeing me. <laughs> I haven't seen the headphones, but. <laughs> but what the? Uh. Okay, or if I put it here. All right, so you you reach in through the the uh, the the butt, and um, you pull out the. Uh, the organ for its musk spray, which has a full gland intact. Okay, so how do I put that in the system? You just put <laughs> you put it as a custom item. Okay. <laughs> Albino death weasel musk gland. <laughs> Anybody else? I'm good. Um, Ken's, uh, <laughs> Ken's Cody's like I'm done. Watch... Ken, Ken's uh, intently watching uh, Alar right now because every instance that he that we've fought like mammalian type creatures, uh, he's watched uh, Alar uh, eat uh, wolf leg. <laughs> Raptor. A, uh, raptor wing. So he's uh, just kind of staring at Alar for no reason. <laughs> oh no, you have reason. It's a reason that she no longer does. <laughs> Lucius, are you still painting on your face? Uh, no, he finished that and he is now using his plus one magic dagger to cut through its chest mm -hmm. and try to take out its heart. Roll me a survival check. Calamar. Calamar. God. I was growing very 17. concerned. 17. Uh, you uh, slice through the, the chest cavity and you get to its heart. Yep. How big is the heart? Mm, this is roughly the size of a horse, so... Pretty big? Yeah, it's kind of big. So the whole time he's, he's doing this, he's it. mumbling an incantation in drow. Uh, and then he holds the heart up. Oh, Lord. And he says, Ultranan Quarval Shares. As he presents it to his goddess, Lol, uh, up in the air. And he then starts to eat it. Uh, oh, boy. I'm walking away. Ayla's walking away. She's like, you know what? <laughs> um, and you thought you had Ayla to worry about. Can't... Ken, Ken's uh, gaze averts from Alar now to uh, Lucius, and it stays there. Um, Doge is just standing next to him, like, trying these ears on. Like, <laughs> like amidst all of this, he just has these, like, bloody ears and this tail. Big mood. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Salty. <laughs> oh god um zaruk are you um doing anything with these weasels or nah no weasel meat is stringing him just disgusting okay it being bigger it wouldn't make a difference okay just had to ask oh, I, I know i know what ken's doing ken's gonna go over to lucius and he's gonna start feeling around his body not asking for for any any uh permission or not He's just going to go for it. Oh. He's going to start feeling around his body, and he's going to look for a crystal anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Roll me a sleight of hand. Let me make sure I don't have any of those on me. <laughs> An arcane oh, focus? God. We know crystal. what he's looking for. No, my arcane focus is a rod. Okay. 21. Do you have any Does crystals? any... Anything that even resembles a crystal. The the smallest thing I have is a vial of acid. Oh my god. Nope, you don't find a crystal at all. He's going to he's going to squint his eyes at him. He's gonna put his two feathers feather fingers in front of his eyes and then and then point him back at his <laughs> So Lucius <laughs> doesn't know what he wants, so he's just gonna like the half eaten heart, he's gonna like Kind of gesture oh, the heart out to him, like, "Oh my God, is this what you want?" <laughs> he's, gonna, he's gonna he's gonna cover his, his his he's gonna take his claws and he's gonna cover his mouth 
and then he's gonna hurl over there. Thanks. <laughs> Lucius oh. is gonna shrug and go back to eating. Oh lord. Doge is gonna hold out his hands like, uh, my turn? <laughs> oh god. Oh, he'll, he'll offer the heart to Doge too, for sure. Oh god. Uh, Doge grabs the heart. Friend and follower. And like, like most of his meals, lump, lump. Oh god. Oh, oh god damn it. <laughs> Lucius will finish it with a silent prayer. Okay. You make it sound so wholesome, and it's not. <laughs> um, as silent as his prayer is, it's Rich almost iron. overwashed by the sounds of my. <clears throat> oh boy. Oh boy. So, Savitar is was probably about to like stab this weasel in a rage and then sees out of the corner of his eye all of that crap happening. He's going to sh sheathe his sword and like silently walk to Alar and he'll be just like sort of whispering in her ear like, should we be concerned that half our party has gone bad? <laughs> and I don't even think they're possessed. Even more concerning. <laughs> You're doing it intentionally. Ken, oh, that's by something. Ken no, like Ken no longer nature. wants to Ken, Ken no longer wants to be on this side of the map. He wants to be over there on this side of the map. Where the same people are. <laughs> and, you know, and the, sure, the, the same sa people. The sad part is, he's on the same side as Zaruk is, and, and he's the one that asked for an egg from Ken. That's saying something. <laughs> That's saying a lot. That's saying a lot. <laughs> yeah, he's still waiting for that egg. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -oh. hey, I'm gonna get that egg. <laughs> I'm gonna get that egg. As I nearly spew Death Wish coffee on my laptop. <laughs> oh, God. Jesus I... <laughs> so, as you guys kind of re uh, finish with uh, cleaning up, per se, um, you this all. He's gonna wear his blood mask, by the way. That's he's fine. That's fine. It's roughly 12. Um,. And you guys can move northward, I think it is, if I remember correctly. As you move along, uh, go ahead and just for craps and giggles, make me perception checks. I'll take this over to the oh, other map. Oh my god. Perception. Oh, hey, I have advantage on that too. Haha! -ha. Ooh, hex a natural twenty. <laughs> I see everything. 18, 13, 14, 17, 22, 10. <clears throat> okay. The <laughs> As you guys ride along and uh, walk along, um, a fam a family of owl bears uh, is caught in your perception, uh, hex first. Okay. Um. They aren't. They aren't bothering you, but they do eye you guys, because they stop. And they just look and they're as they're walking, as you guys are walking and uh, riding in the cart. Um, sorry. What was the family of? Owl bears. Owl bears. Mm. I don't like me some owl bears. There, there, there's a mama bear, a papa bear, and a baby bear. <laughs> all we, all we need is Goldilocks and. <laughs> wait, wait a moment! I'll get, wait a moment! I'll get the wig. <laughs> oh my God, no! <laughs> what? Wait, no, wait! What, what, what have we done? <laughs> That's a very little child, and he steals things. <laughs> what have we done? <sighs> oh jeez! All right, so there are owl bears. <sighs> What's the best way to get around this right now? They're just staring at you. Uh, if you guys move along, I think they wouldn't uh, bother you if you want to. If anybody yeah, wants to roll an insight going. check just for craps and giggles, go ahead. Just, just or, or... try not to look tasty. Considering I've been bitten twice, I probably look excessively tasty, which is not what I want to be. <laughs> You're also kind of covered in fresh blood. Yeah. So... Uh... Uh, Lucius, uh, the, with your insight, for sure. Why are both of you all over me right now? 
Uh, with your insight, for sure, you're like, okay, they're just standing there to protect their child. They're actually not going to come after. Uh, is that your kid? I'm going to kill it. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> uh, and we roll initiative. Okay. Mm, well, anyway. he, doesn't know, he doesn't know those words anymore. Yeah, no, so. I figured that was a gag. <laughs> I figured that was a gag. <laughs> Lucius will tell Alar in Elvish, like, we should just move along. God. She's gonna nod her head like, yep, nope. Looking forward, get going. Alright, and as you guys ride along, it's a very good afternoon. You make a decent distance. And so, roughly, yeah, I'll say roughly there. Now we all feel um, like dried rough. Rough. Yeah, well, because this hex thing on here doesn't do well for my when I try to move it. So, I know roughly where you guys are at. You're gonna be close. Um... Because it was two days travel, so this was day one. Um, you guys... We're still on day one. You guys... Uh, camp out in a meadow, and if Savitar wants to make a survival check, he can. For hunting, if anybody yep. else wants to go hunting, you can. Zaruk, I would love for you to make a cooking utensil uh, roll. Um... Kendall, you know to look for berries. What are you talking about? You're gonna forage for berries, so survive. Oh wow! Damn. He does good berries. Yeah. I've done this before. Remember, <laughs> like, I found the field of like oranges and berries. This was just after Ken's brother died. I'm like, hey, you want an orange? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. Uh. Hex, your survival. You're just like. Me right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They got it. <laughs> I want to hang out with my friend. I'm just gonna lay down in the cart <laughs> until the Ken, food is Ken, ready. Ken's just hanging out near the fire where Zaruk is, and he's just watching intently, like interested, but not Lucius looking to help. is uh, sitting next to Doge, reading his books. Practicing his language. Remember, I gave you a child's dictionary, so that's even funny, funnier. So, the chicken goes quack. Oh yeah, and I gave you that too. Wait, wait. Can I spend Damn this it. time to cast comprehend languages? Sure, you can as take a, a ritual. Yes, you can take that. Ten and minutes. I would like to keep teaching my friend. Okay, you can do that. Alar, you find. Good amount of strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, uh, apples, even some wild grapes. Um, Yo. Savitar, you find. You kill a wolf, a small deer, and you fish out six fish. Interesting. Yeah, and as you come back, Myth, are you just kind of carry all that back with me, right? Yeah, I'm just yeah. chilling at the camp. Yeah, you're chilling, kind of doing guard duty, but like, yeah, resting. Six fish isn't hard to carry. Yeah, no, but a deer and a wolf. Hey, well, I mean, you have I mean, two. I, I guess I could be dragging them. But... Yeah, you're a hunter. You uh, you. I don't know how big these these creatures are. Like, are they like? Regular medium yeah. size? Or they yeah, like they're regular size. Oh, okay. All right. I didn't say a dire wolf. Okay. Shit. Fair enough. So, uh, Zaruk, with that 16 cook utensils and all of the things I have said, Master Cook, what do you make? I'm just making really basic trail ration. I'm not in the mood to cook good. Oh. But it still tastes good. Okay. <laughs> So, as he makes the trail rations on the side, uh, who would like to cook the uh, the food tonight? You don't want me to cook food. Doing it. You know what? Okay. I'm going to try my hand at it. Okay. Uh, uh, that one one. will help, I suppose, because after the, the last bout that Zaruk made, that resulted in him paying for overpriced bread. 
Yeah. <laughs> this I is Alar, so, so go ahead and roll me. Well, no, oh, but, but like, food, in, since the Rook isn't oh, yeah. doing it, then yeah, Savitar's gonna help her. So, because um, you're gonna watch. Alar, roll me. Do you not trust me to cook on my own? No, I just don't want Zarook to be like. Even though Zarook isn't making a move, like I don't, I, I don't necessarily don't want, want him to feel like he should hop in on this because Ooh. this avatar doesn't. Uh, necessarily looks like, want you're, to it looks like you're. It looks like you're kill, you're Are killing the burn food. The water? <laughs> Sorry, Zarook. Burn the water. So anyway. roll me a survival check with advantage. <laughs> Alar. I've yeah. I've only known one person to burn water, and that's that that's nah, Cody's it's... Cody's mom. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. He hasn't burned water. Oof. Anyway, with the natural twenty, you cook the wolf and the fish and the uh, deer to perfection. Uh, mix it in with the trail rations. But throw a fruit. Make a fruit salad. Yeah, uh, fruit salad on the side. Mm-hmm. Mix it in with the trail rations, and you have a nice spread for the night. Um, now, I have to ask, who's doing watch, and what order? Shit, I didn't mean to clear all the drawings. Oh, well, I know where oh, you Shit. What? I took away the shape that I had. Yeah, I already roughly know where it's at. Um, I'll take second watch. I'll take first watch. Okay. So, let me write this down. First watch, Myth. Second watch, Alar. Uh, anybody joining Alar? Ken's gonna join Alar. Ken. Third watch. Lucius will take third watch. All I'll right. take it with him, and it, while if we're idle, I'll be teaching. Okay. Um, so Avatar will round out the last. Watch we're gonna learn you this. some Ingerish someday. <clears throat> all right, I have. <laughs> all right, I have a specific plan on when I'm gonna play this thing. Sweet. God help us all. Mm. All right. Yes, my God, help us all. <laughs> mm. <laughs> uh, anyways, Myth, you are up. So you take the first watch. It's dusk and leading into night um go ahead and make me a perception check as you are rounding the fire 12 with a 12 you um here's some owls um which i should add that ambiance of night i keep forgetting i have that night play all right and so uh you hear the owls go um not too much is going on the fire crackles and uh kind of pops when the uh the wood cracks due to the dry heat um uh it's very quiet. It's peaceful at the moment. A little too peaceful. Hmm. Nothing seems to be watching you right now. And with that, it your uh, couple hours goes by, unabated, and you, it is now time for you to wake up Alar and Ken. Who do you wake up right. first? I'll go wake up Alar. I just lightly tap her on her shoulder. I watched it already? Yep, it's you and Ken's turn. I haven't woken him up yet. Nothing to report. Ah, oh, that's good. Alright, well, I'm gonna go poke Ken awake. Alright. See you in the morning. You sleep well, don't die. <laughs> Ken, Ken, Ken's already <laughs> awake. He's he's wide awake. You you see him sitting there at the at the log of the fire. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of sit next to him and look around and keep watch. He scooches away. <laughs> All right, you two make perception checks. Okay. 
He's a little distracted. He's mainly looking at Alar. Okay, if you're distracted, then roll it with a disadvantage. No, I mean, um, that, uh, that's what I'm saying for his 18. Okay. Okay. Um. So, yeah, you're kind of staring at her a little bit as you're looking around. Um. Mm -hmm. I will say, off about 30 feet from the camp, there are a few of the Sturges uh, flittering by, but they're far away enough, and if... I need to double-check if I have a photo of them in here, just in case. Oh, I actually do not, so cool. We're, we're not going to show that to the audience. Um... <laughs> Um, so, it's, uh, they're not that, uh, close, so you guys are okay. Yeah. Mm. Do you guys speak to each other at all? I mean, Ken doesn't say anything. He just <laughs> basically just stares at Alard. He stares, he stares... He, he's he's looking around. He's doing his job, but he's mostly staring at Alar, and she can probably <laughs> notice that he's just yeah. good fifty percent of the time he's looking at her. Alar, do you have a response to that? Okay, uh, you know what? Yes, I yelled at you at the end. Yes, I have tried to stab you, but you know what? With the whole sword stealing thing, you're a thief. Son, it's a really good assumption. Huh? Sorry. There's me. Yeah. There's a... It's nothing. All right. Then he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna sigh, and he's gonna say, "Yeah." I better not regret this. And then he looks, he looks away. <laughs> Where's Joseph, your friend? Right here. Hopefully he doesn't have a picture. Just gonna stick my tongue out of him just a little bit, just rude. Who's that? Uh, Cody. Who's Cody? A friend of mm -hmm. Joseph's. Girl, I mean, yes, he girl. finishes up the night and just, yeah. just uh, doing Jeff his job. Work. That's gonna be me. He was initially soon. just mostly staring at Elard. I need to talk soon, so. Oh, are you kicking me out? Yes, please. No, I'm please, you please. Why you got it up here too? Please. Go ahead. Alright, um, so. A any more banter between you two, or is that about it? That's pretty much it. He was, Ken was saying, uh, was taking um, the shift with Alar just to watch her. Yeah. I see. This is pretty cool. All right. Well, as you guys kind of, yeah, have that moment, it is now time to wake up Lucius and Doge. Um, uh, Ken's no, going nowhere near Lucius. He's going over to Doge. Alar, are you going right, over to your go to like, next to Lucius? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of a problem, Ken. Well, he's going to go to the other side where... <laughs> Just as far away from Lucius as possible. He's going to find a coach. stick. He's going to go find a stick and then poke... poke. <laughs> Oh, Doge awake. I'm a poking with a stick. That's a Steve Irwin okay. joke right there. Shit. And... He he po he posts Doge awake and then says and says, your turn. Okay. <laughs> Alar, do you say anything to? <laughs> I could have just woken him up normally, dude. You didn't have to poke him. He's gonna throw the stick at her. Oh, jeez. Roll me. Romy's uh, in athletics. To see if I catch it? No, I want to see his throw first. 21, okay. And I want a... That was a natural 19. Wow. Okay, athletics or acrobatics of your choice depending on if you want to dodge it or if you want to catch it. Catch is I try to catch it, but I already, I already rolled athletics. Oh. Well, then 18, yeah. Um... Yeah, you catch it. You definitely catch All right. it. 
And then he kind of points points over points over to um to Lucius, and he's like he he's like, poke him. I'm gonna I'm gonna point the stick at him like mirror. No, <laughs> he's not getting anywhere near you. <laughs> First, I'm gonna wake up Lucius, and then I'm going to can for. Say that again, okay. Cody. You cut, got cut off. So, no, I was saying I'm gonna wake up Lucius, and then I'm gonna chase after Ken with the stick. And then Ken's gonna bolt. <laughs> Good lord. Lucius just opens his eyes as the firelight flickers in his eyes, making that cat eye effect. So he just looks super haunting with his bloody face. Oh God. And he's gonna go sit by the fire. Okay. Ken, Ken, and Alar are somewhere, just running around in circles around the cha uh, around the camp. <laughs> Good lord, you two. Somewhere, Shin's voice goes, "Sit down, shut up, go to sleep." <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So, how how long does your chase last? <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm gonna keep going yeah. as long as she continues to chase. Once she oh. gives up, then he'll give up. Oh god! I'll chase him for a hot minute. Okay, so five minutes I'm goes. i to catch up to him. Five minutes goes by, and uh, you guys are wearing each other out. So <laughs> I would hint, say. Hint. <laughs> So as that happens, you, uh, you're you like, I'll get him in the morning. And I would say you two go to sleep. Separate, obvious, separate sides of the camp. I'll make sure to keep the stick. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Um, in, in the middle of the night, uh, I mean, in the middle of the night, uh, it's already night, um, uh, after she goes to bed, um, he's going to stay up just for enough that he can go over to her and he's going to steal the stick. <laughs> what, wait, is this while okay. Lucius is on watch? Yes. <laughs> Do I hear him? Try to take the stick. Does Lu well is? Well, I would say Lucius. Luci see him walking towards with Alar. your with your psychic. Uh, obviously, yes. Uh, but stealth of 25, roll me... So, how does your psychic thing, uh, field work? So, basically, when things move around me, it creates a distortion in my psychic net, and that's why I see it. Okay. So, you don't know how and... far his, his, his thing goes out, uh, Ken. So, you are within... I'm, I mean, I would say... I would say that he he could see the distortion, but he yeah. but he wouldn't be able to see him physically because no, I don't see Ken, and I don't know it's Ken, but I can see the distortion of movement towards. Yes, Alar. I would say that. Yeah, I would say it would. He would see the distortion towards Alar, and would look towards Alar. So assuming that it's an enemy. Oh God. Uh, I'm going to cast Web in that direction. Oh shit. Oh. Oh boy. Uh, the dexterity saving throw. Uh, looks like it. Yes, dex saving throw. What is your um, DC? DC fourteen. Seventeen passes. Uh, the ground is now covered in sticky web, though. Ooh. It's difficult terrain, though. Mm -hmm. This is a battle of titans. Difficult terrain. Yes. So I was distracted with screaming children. May In that come case. Back to the ground and, <laughs> and I'm like, what did somebody have fun on the floor? <laughs> Damn it, Brandon. <sighs> Please, no. He's going. To, he, he's still going to go do it, though. Oh, Lord. And then he's going to he's going to try and take he's going to try and take the stick. Roll me an athletics. I would say she's gripping the stick pretty tight. 
I'm laying on top of it. Not a, oh, not a sleight of hand. I, because of what she's doing, no. Because there, there is weight involved on this. Come on, Link, pull nope. it out. Oh. Uh, she ain't letting that thing go. Oh. Roll me a stealth isn't, check to make sure you don't wake her also up. So on my watch. Yes. Yes. And I'm, I'm watching. Firing webs. <laughs> I'm watching. Just watching. <laughs> I see what fire webs is onto the floor. Alar's passive perception. And I also know that there is a stick involved, and also Alar is involved, so this could prove. Fifteen. Fifteen. It's fifteen. God damn it! You guys tied. <sighs> so. Oh, <shit. laughs> Here we so, go again. <laughs> so honestly, I would say he was stealthy enough. At, you don't wake up, but he's tried so hard, but he can't get it. Damn. Uh, he's gonna. He's gonna. He's gonna. He's gonna. Hmm. He's gonna take like the other end of the stick that he's unable to like actually pull out. He's just gonna try and like amass some cobwebs on it and you know, stick it onto her. <laughs> oh lord, the sleight of hand. <laughs> yeah. Bro, does that mean he's handling the web as well? Yeah. So... I mean, he's not touching it himself, he's touching it, he's using the stick to touch it, so... But doesn't he not have the stick? Yeah, she has the stick. That's why I said I'm using the other end that I was able to tug on because pull. I, I was able to pull on something to get yeah. the to get the stick. Mhm. Mm so kind of like. I thought you didn't get the stick. He didn't get the stick, but there's an end he's pulling on. So he kind of. So like, if you're a person and you're like moving it with whatever they're holding, but you kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Like where sticks he digs it. Are, he digs it into the things. ground. So yeah. now the stick is in the web. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay, so it's like a, a web. Yeah, so it took the end of the stick and kind of bent it down because I'm laying on top of the stick. I'm not just yes. holding it. I'm laying on top of it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying is the sticks, the sticks aren't rigid things. They, they bend. So. Yeah, he's bent it into the web. I got what he meant by that. And then he sticks it on you and then he leaves. <laughs> oh, jeez. Stuck to your face like one of those uh, college videos. What? <laughs> literally got a stick stuck to your face. <laughs> I mean, it disintegrates in an hour, so. Yeah, but still. So, as you guys, uh, roll me a perception check. I was gonna say, what? Well, imagine what happens when when it disintegrates, right? It, it's a, it's 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 loaded, right? And then what happens? It slaps back, right? Hey, <laughs> Lar, you're not supposed to be perception checking, you dork. Oh, I'm sorry. It's Kaleo who's supposed to be perception checking. <laughs> I don't know why. You were you were just in that I moment. Ken was doing something else. No. Yeah, I thought Ken was doing something else. No, it's the watch. No. Um, what do I see? You're just. You're, you're kind of flabbergasted that that all just happened. And you're just staring at the stick. You're like, you, you see the stick stuck to her face and you're like... I must be asleep right now. <laughs> you, you, you turn to Lucius. Am I asleep? <laughs> Lucius looks at his book. No. <laughs> 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 just seems going like <laughs> with your Lucius 19 is... oh okay, yeah no. go ahead you first no um well so with the well with the 19 um lucius is still like walking around the encampment trying to figure out if the web caught whatever was walking around or if it got away unfortunately it got away but um knowing ken he would cover his tracks a bit uh, so you can't tell that it was really him. So um, as I do get closer to uh, where I centered the webs, which is uh, near Alar, um, do I notice the stick? Because when I get close to things, 
I can see them better with my psychic energy. Yes, you do see the stick stuck to her face. <laughs> this is great. I'm sorry, the face you're giving right now, Kaleo, is the best, because you're like, what? Lucius is just really confused. <laughs> Do I notice any mechanism to this? Because he said he's trying to make it, or he, like, bent the stick into the webs. No, it's just literally, you know, wood that is bendable, you know? Yeah. He, st he, he stuck, he, he kind of, like, he you know it's how you, like, twirl it with cotton candy, right? A stick with cotton candy? He, he does that, sticks it onto her face, right? And then maybe later when it disintegrates, it'll just snap back like, like, like a mousetrap, and then it'll hit her somewhere. <laughs> Do I notice that? No, it, uh, it's not that mean. It's literally like a... Stuck to her face. Okay. Uh, like like a college prank. So it won't snap back. No, it he won't snap under... back. He's just gonna say in drow under his breath, I don't understand surface rituals. <laughs> and as you... Just as a, a, a very aside to everything he's done compared to what they've done. So, as this goes on, I want everybody to mute. And I want to make sure... I need weed. Oh, David! No! I'm about to do the recording! <laughs> no, I'm still here. I'm oh, here. okay. Okay, cool. Um, everybody make sure your volume is turned up on roll 20. Here we go. <sighs> Playing in three, two, one. In the unknown recesses of the Underdark, there is a dark stoned castle known as House Thane Teblar. In her study, the matriarch Valdama is in her trance. And during this time, she is conversing with a law. <laughs> oh, Valdama, my sweet and wonderful servant, what news do I have to bring you? It is very chaotic. Your ex-servant, Lucius, is on the surface, alive. And guess what? He is spreading the news of the god Noct instead of the word of Lulth. He has turned his back and hopes... <laughs> that you will never find him. <laughs> but always, I have my eye on him, and I wanted to let you know. So, with this information, do what you must. Valdama replies, Yes, my queen. I shall have that traitorous cat finally taken care of, even though I thought it was already done. <sighs> I shall make sure that he does not breathe anymore. Valdama rises from her trance and calls upon Elise, her own daughter, the one who trained Lucius in the art of torture. She then turns to her and says, Did you know he escaped? Did you know that he's alive on the surface? Elise responds with, No, I didn't, my mother, but... What shall we do? What is he doing on the surface? He is spreading the awful <laughs> word of Nacht. And I shall make sure that Hairball is killed for his insolence. You need to call on Quantum Zoland and make sure he is paid handsomely. That happens during the same time as your watch. Oh, Kaleo, you are muted, no, by the no. way. Those fucking bitches. <laughs> I ain't no goddamn worshiper of Knock. Knock, knock. Who's there? <laughs> so, so knock, knock. Part, part of, so part of that, um, that, that was, uh, cut from, cut, um, for a moment, uh, in terms of the audio. And it said, um, I will make sure that 
that Lucius does not breed, and then it cut there. I was like, Bre okay. <laughs> oh, br breathe. <laughs> breathe. 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 Uh, oh, hell to the nah. They probably hope I don't find out. <laughs> well. Hell to the not. <laughs> oh, boy. So, as uh, you and Doge, uh, Hex, do a little bit of lesson, unbeknownst to you, you may have somebody that will start tracking you. Dun, dun, dun. Which Bullshit. I'll have. Huh? Bullshit. <laughs> yeah, we have to go <laughs> Doe doesn't see shit, so you mean the small canker? <laughs> As your watch comes to an end, you go over to Savitar. Which, by the way, I... Thanatos, you are muted. At this point, the web's... Who's really coming to me? Is it Doge or Lucius? That's up to them who wants to do it. And the webs have yeah. dissolved, yes. But the stick is still uh, pressed to her face. Lucius will go and uh, wake up Savitar. I'll go... With the mask on? Alar. His face is still painted, yeah. And his eyes are still glowing from the fire. <laughs> God. Um, and he just kind of leans down and he, he, he touches... Avatar's shoulder, uh, and he says the new words that he learned in the last couple hours. Wakey, wakey. <laughs> Z, I want a dice roll to determine what Savitar does. If Savitar wakes and gets startled by this seemingly... Because at this point, he's like full-on battle gear, like Right, like he's his appearance is like something that you would probably be startled with when if it's the first thing that you see when you wake up. <laughs> so I'm concerned that Savitar may wake up and like try to strike him down. Okay. Because he doesn't know any better, considering he just woke up and is seeing this face. Roll me a D six and I want even to be you just you you realize it's him. Odds it is uh Well yeah. Stabby stab. <laughs> Fucking. I am so sorry, Lucius. <laughs> but yeah, so you wake him up in this horrid, grotesque mask of weasel corpses or whatever that you were messing weasel with. Blood. And that's the first thing he sees when he wakes up. And yeah, he's gonna like grab his sword and be like, what the fuck? If not stab. realizing that it's actually you, um, Z, I don't know how you want to establish. You know what? The next bit. Kind of like what, like with Alive Nightmares, unarmed strike against. Oh no! This is a sword. <laughs> oh no! Savitar freaking drew his sword. He's yeah. like, oh, yeah. Yes, <laughs> with the katana. Not realizing that it's Lucius because oh, it's, a new game, so it's a new element. A sword strike. Yeah, there there is an element to this, if you want. I can say, honestly, I could say it. you don't have to invoke its power. Like I would think during an I, actual. I don't think I don't think Savitar would have, uh, given the speed in which he's attacking between the time that he attacked and the time that Lucius woke him up. I don't know if he would have the mind space to like, you know, like consciously, intentionally I mean, it would just be reflex, invoke. Right? Yeah, I would think it would just be a reflex to where he just. Draws his sword and goes goes at it. I don't think he would. I don't think he would be able to to um just you know base damage. concentrate on yeah exactly, and it would probably be one handed even though he's not wielding any other weapon. But again, reflex, just a quick like who are you get get away from me, not knowing what's so yeah. So what you want me to roll a d twenty for that or no? Uh, well you know what, roll me. Just roll me the sword, and then we'll see what damage comes out of it. Yeah, Lucius can't I am this. so sorry, Lucius. I would say it's but a one-handed. It. I would say it's one-handed, so six points of I did say one-handed. I specifically said one-handed. Yeah, I would say six points of damage comes... 
<gasps> just go goes through his shoulder. <laughs> yep. Lucius looks at Savitar. He's like, who goes that? At then at the stab, and then he looks at Savitar, and he puts his hand over the stab. Ow! Another word he learned. Should have said at wakey wakey eggs and bakey. That's that's the right phrase. <laughs> I haven't taught him eggs or bakey. So <laughs> Savitar at this point, now that now that the guy is standing there like injured and not like attacking back, he's gonna look around, he's gonna be like, Wait, what? Oh, it's you. <sighs> Did you really have to wake me up with that thing on? <laughs> And you're saying Lucius this and has no idea what's going on. Are you saying that in undercommon to him? Because you know you've spoken to undercommon. I'm I'm gonna say it in undercommon, yeah. In undercommon, he will reply, You don't have to stab the messenger. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's gonna go over to the cart to sleep. Ow. Meanwhile, um, I'm going to wake up Alar, and all I see is <laughs> her with a stick, and I'm having, like, severe deja vu, like I've had this image in my head before, and I don't exactly pinpoint what happened in my past life, but I vaguely remember playing fetch. <laughs> oh, no. And so I grab the stick pretty harshly and say, wake up. Pretty much just like, so wait, where did Ken stick the stick exactly? Like across? Cheek. Or, or, oh, on the cheek? Yeah. Okay. I can imagine her cyber just get ripped right off with the stick because of the webbing. Oh, oh no, the, the webbing's gone. gone webbing's but... gone? The webbing's but... gone? Yeah. Yeah, okay. but there's like... The, the th stick is just pressed to your face. Yeah. So I'm taking it off of your face and lifting it into the air. It may huh. have, like, some sticky residue left over. <laughs> Sap, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Gross. I, I just wake up, and I'm just... The fuck? And I'm kind of wiping my face and trying to get the sap off. Uh. <laughs> I look at the stick, and for some reason, I feel like I should throw it. I'm like, and here. I throw it. Damn it. I, I can? <laughs> no, out, just outside at a random direction. Should okay. I roll for that? Sure, roll me in athletics. Oh, good. Five. <laughs> Over the shoulder. <laughs> couple, a couple of feet. It's kind of like... I mean, how far did he throw it? Yeah, two feet. Yeah, it's not far. Hey, right, I'm gonna I'm get up. Grab the stick. <laughs> God damn it. I'm not letting Ken get away with this. <laughs> There's Ken. It's my turn to play fed Uh Ken is a uh, nuzzle. Oh, actually, uh, I've got an idea. Oh, Lord. I'm be like... Hex. And I hold out my hand for the stick. Like aim it at Ken. <laughs> Ken, I Ken, look. Ken, Ken. What? Let me let me rephrase that. Ken was this. was nuzzled against Avatar, and then he no longer is because <laughs> Avatar is not no longer there. Thing is, I'm whispering this to Hex, trying to make sure you don't hear. Roll a stealth. This one's a little bit aimed. Really quick, a stealth. Yeah. For how loud that is. Please hit me. Ten. Oh, God. I would say you're far away enough. Go ahead. Uh, roll. Sixteen. Pip. On the beak. Boink. Put them on the beak. <laughs> In the distance, Ken Ken wakes up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Is Savitar? I'm assuming Savitar is seeing all of this happen, right? Yeah. Zaruk's just freaks out, <laughs> laying there asleep. His, he freaks out. All of his feathers are just kind of poofed out, and some of some of the feathers are just like flayed, uh, sprayed like left and right. <laughs> He's only he, he's got up. his dagger. He's hopping back and forth, left, right. What about Zeru? What? What? Did you lay that egg? <laughs> <laughs> and he like Savitar is just going to the, the, sheath his the, sword and just like the bury his face, bury bury uh, his face into his hand and be like. What the hell is going on with this oh night? Just the sleeping peacefully over by his corner, not caring what's happening. Oh lord. Zaruk, you inspect and you see no egg. Uh, wait. Wake me when it actually happens, not when you get scared. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Wow. That was beautiful. Um. Yeah, so, um. Yeah, at this point, he can just put an ostrich egg in the bed when I wake up, and I believe it was him. <laughs> Keep that in mind. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. That's a, that's a good one. Uh, so, most people go back to sleep after this. Savitar, your watch, I will just say, ends with no qualms. You all get a long rest. <laughs> it's not so grudgingly, though. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> you all get a long rest. And then, as you guys... Get some breakfast from leftover dinner. And a bit of, uh... Well, not leftover dinner, but I should say, uh... You were able to preserve some of the meat from, uh, the animals and able to cook some... It's probably smoked up. Yeah. Make some, make some good, uh... Some good vittles. Uh... I don't, I don't know what we had for breakfast. Did we use a fork or a spoon? Hi. Huh? Wait, wait. Oh, wait. You're asking me if we used forks or spoons? Oh, I said, what, what did we have for breakfast? Did we use a fork or a spoon? Zarug, do you want to make breakfast or do you want somebody else to make it? Yeah, I'll make stuff. I have a couple of spoons, so I can make breakfast with that. Go ahead. Roll me that cook. Utensil. Natural one. Natural 20. Oh. Ooh, 21. Oh, I'm good. All right, go <laughs> ahead. You were both right. <laughs> Making some uh, minced meat wolf uh, <laughs> uh, wolf burgers. Ooh. That's, uh, a, that's so a good one. No, so, 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 so no spoons, no, no forks. Got you. Understand. I, have, I have sporks. They're fapoons in some languages. Oh. Fork? Spork. Spork. You ever seen a spoon fork? No, I know. I don't like where Kim's going with this. <laughs> <laughs> you should learn not to drink during our sessions. Uh, I need a little just, more water. He just yeah, wanted a scoop and then he just wanted to fling it at, his, uh, at her die. face. Well, you technically can do hey! that with a spork. Yeah. <laughs> You can flick a piece uh, of burger at her. Bro, I only had a spoon to eat everything. It was hard to cut steak that way. <sighs> so, slide a hand. Ken. Uh, okie dokie. Oh, shit. <laughs> 24. Oh, he's gonna, he's going to look around like, like, who did it? Who did it? <laughs> I wonder why I don't like you. Oh boy. Oh boy. 
Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> then the party's cohesion fell out to uh, <laughs> Is there food currently in front of me? Yes. I'm going to grab it. Mm -hmm. Ow. We need to yeah, I'm not going to something. What was that, Jeff? I didn't know you could dislocate your jaw. We need to do like a con save or something, or... No. Alright. And Mitch just grabs a handful and just starts eating. Get a few burgers in. Yeah, I'm not sure. wasting through food. My mouth is pretty large. Yeah, he's a, he's a shark man. Ken gratefully eats most of, um, most of the burger that he has. Except that one piece you threw at uh, Alar. <laughs> yeah. So, what was that, uh, Lucius? Lucius is going to investigate his food to make sure there's no spiders in it before. Roll me an investigation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you found you like an appendage inside of it. 15. Say that again, Brandon. I said, thank you for reminding me about that. I need to get a grinder. <laughs> Oh, oh no! no. Oh. With the 15, you see oh. no spiders. Lucius will eat. <laughs> but you feel we pray we'll never see them again. When you do, when you pray, you have a weird sensation. Oh. You have a weird sensation. I'm gonna take it as a good sign. Mm. You take. <laughs> mm. She coming for you, bro. She ain't coming for him. There was a name dropped in there. Yeah. Knock. No, not knocked. There was another name dropped in there. Yep. Lucius is a trainer. There's that, but there was another name dropped. Just so many names dropped. <laughs> I'll have to replay it for y'all at the end. <laughs> um, so, as you guys pack up, you ri ride along, little doggy. Uh, make me the That's pers a long rest. Oh yeah, you got a long rest, sir. Make me the perception checks. Perception. Trucker hat perception is 15. We've nope. been on point together today. She's a good thing. <laughs> Ken, Ken is intently staring at Alar. The will of love. Oh no, he he, uh, he 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 wrapped up the very little bit of burger that he has left and then put it in her pouch. <laughs> Remind me to get some spider gummies for next session. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send you a message. <laughs> so, as you guys with your perception checks, um, Savitar, you would notice. Hmm. He would notice as he's the most on edge from this morning. <laughs> right? <laughs> Let me see something really quick. Do you notice uh, as the sign, there's like some signs in Goblin that says, uh, keep out, enter your own risk, death to non-goblins. <laughs> <laughs> so... But you're not seeing any goblins just yet. And as you... Uh, Go ahead. No, I'm trying to think... Because you said I didn't see any goblins, so trying to use favored enemy perception wouldn't really do me any good. No, that would. I would say that still would help out. Okay, because, yeah, favored enemy goblinoids, so that's a thing. I don't mm -hmm. know if you want me to do something about that. But yeah, I think if he if he's seeing like the messages and he can read them, then he's going to like be more on edge as if he wasn't already on edge as if already. Um, so I would think he would sort of 
get another gauge, take another look around, even if it doesn't lead to anything. But okay. He'll yeah. he'll be sent. He'll be specifically trying to feel out or sense out uh, goblin activity or goblin presence. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, what is it? Perception or? Yeah. Twenty one. Uh, do you want to do it with advantage, if I remember? Uh, I'll give you advantage. Uh, okay, twenty one. Uh, there are definitely goblin tracks here. There's a lot of them. Uh, it seems like you are getting closer to the castle. Um, are they? Le are they? Do I know if they're if the tracks are leading towards the castle or away from? Both. Because obviously they, this is an area where they. Come okay, in and well out. the 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 majority of the footprints. Because you said there's there's a, quite a bit of activity. Like, is there a sense that like there's a commonality as far as like where most of the tracks are going, or are they just ev literally every which way? Yeah, kind of every which way. But there's a commonality to the castle and leaving from it but then there's a certain point where they scatter you know from leaving it's kind of it's kind of weird like you know you there's an area up ahead that obviously shows that yeah this is where they're gonna need to go but you can kind of tell because if there's a specific path to the castle that we're going to and he's seeing goblins he will probably be thinking that there's an ambush ahead and may want to take the detour if for nothing else than to slay some additional goblins um so he would relay that to the party i would think uh i will just say go ahead. you aren't in a thousand feet of goblins and you notice the pendant isn't glowing on ken points um well i'll just mention the findings and that there's goblin writings and footprints all over the place there isn't anything nearby but we may want to be on guard for an ambush so it's roughly nish and as you're riding along more, uh, make me one more perception check. But I roll with advantage again if I'm like paying sure. more attention to the goblin. Ah, uh, sure. I guess I may not necessarily need it. Good? Yeah, nope. You're alright. Don't die. Who died? Who fell? We heard something fall. Yeah. Wasn't me. Wasn't me. Dun, 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 dun. It was a ghost. It was so... just my emotions. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Jeebus. I was about to say it was Jim. Zaruk, did you make another perception check? Oh. I did not. Okay, and you didn't either. Okay. Dude, it, oh, natural twenty. Damn, <laughs> nice. Um, you guys are getting closer and closer. The pendant does light up, but there, there's no goblins in sight. What is in sight is. Let me do a little bit of messing around for two seconds because this was. Do the mess around. Gonna do the mess around. You breaking that? All right, I'm gonna edit that. Kill that. Okay, add. Really? Okay. Okay. 
Alright, we're gonna probably do that then. Fine. Watch as we get jumped. <laughs> oh shit. I, I grabbed your bike. No. I had nobody added to this map. Ugh. Damn it. That was the one thing I forgot to do. Okay. Good lord. Alright, so I need... <coughs> Sav. Shin. Doge. Alar. And. Zaruk. Lucius. Ah. Ken. Okay. Now. Enemies. Sorry for the wait. Cool. So, Alar, save. Mm. Oh my god, this thing is... Why is Roll20 acting so slow all of a sudden? Jeez. Alright. Um, it's here. Let me move you guys. Over to the map. Y'all see that? Oh. Yes. Just to give you. Are those wolves? Yes, those are wolves. Do they see us or notice us? Uh... Everybody roll me stealth checks to see how quiet you are. Fuck. Oh. That's It'll be good for me. Derp. Oh. Uh. Don't worry. I'll do something to do. What have you? Uh, seven. Oh. Ooh, okay. Eight. I'm gonna have to do some math here. Give me a second. I'm making sure everybody can control their token. I can move mine. Okay. What a miss. Why are we rolling initiative? They're about to die. No, I'm kidding. Uh, give me two seconds. <laughs> Where is... Oh my um, god. need Rook to roll a stealth check, and then is there anybody else who still needs one? Yeah. Ooh, stealth check. They don't do. Okay. I think... No, Let's see. What I need. Doge, are you able to move your token, or have I not given access to it yet? I don't think so, no. Okay. I don't have mine yet. Okay. Yeah, I'm working on Lucius at the moment. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, you should have access now, Lucius.
can I go for a second level invisibility on me and Lucius? Uh, sure. Give me a second. Let me do the checks on the stealth, and then I'm going to do something really quick. So, okay. So I got one. Am I missing someone? Ken. Yeah. Did you roll a stealth check? No, I thought I did. Oh, it didn't. It didn't show up. I guess. Let me, let me do it again. Okay. Twenty-one. Okay. Doing a little bit of math here. I pressed the button and it show, didn't show up, probably because the 3D dice is being stupid. <laughs> cool. All right. Math. Kids never choose a career in math. Oh wait. Fuck math. D and D is full of math. Shit. Yeah. Well, you know, basic math, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, after a while, you're like, I need a calculator. <laughs> Pick out the abacus. After a while, I'll drink more vodka. So, okay, average is that. Cool. <sighs> Alright, wolves. I need... I need stats. Uh, how perceptive are they? Let's see. Oh, they have a cool. plus three in perception. Let's see how Can perceptive I do is this. The invisibility. Oh, I would say. Give me a second. Well, they probably heard me. Oof. Can I do the invisibility? Yes. So as you are just casting it, as you run over to Lucius, the wolves notice the rest of the party. That's why I was trying to see how, how perceptive they were. Ooh, so they were pretty perceptive. Yeah, so I did an average. Uh, so I combined all your totals and did an average. And so the wolves got above the average, so uh, that's why I was trying to figure out how to play it out. Mm. So, as you cast that invisibility, you two are invisible. And the wolves start growling. Oh, what? Did you rename... What? Maybe I need to refresh. Yeah, because I it says uh, Doge has access to Doge. Um. So as the wolves, what the fun flam flam, llama llama ding ding. Um, I'm also hex on roll twenty. I'm not sure. That might be affecting it. Let's if see. If you still had me with something as Doge. Okay, hold on. Let me. Uh, you got all? I had it. I had control earlier. Yeah, that's why I was like, wait, what? Wait, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Or the wrong screen, I should say. Doge. Let me edit. Oh, what the hell? Oh, maybe because you changed... Okay. Save changes. Try now. Okay. Um, cool. That's all I want to do. I think it's because when you renamed yourself, it took it off of the character sheet. That's why. I didn't do that today, though. I did that, like, last that's three so sessions ago. 
I think because your original control was still under that. That's why. Ugh, that's so weird. Anyways, that's not a problem. <laughs> it's not a problem. So, as you, the wolves realize and they start growling and howling, the ogre goes, What is it, boys? Is it food? In common. And this oh, is where we'll end the session. Leo oh, is having an earthquake. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh. <laughs> Leo having a Leo having a seizure. <laughs> Reminds me of that video of that girl who's doing a makeup tutorial and when the earthquake hit. Oh god, that sounds <laughs> terrible. So would you guys like uh, me to replay that recording for y'all? Yeah. yeah. <coughs> and I, I'm also sending you a message, Z-Man. Okay, for sure. For sure. All right. Um, ba -ba -da -da -ba -ba. Let me see what that message is really quick. Uh, I'll try to, yeah. For sure. Um, so I would like everybody to mute one more time. And here we go in three, two, one. In the unknown recesses of the Underdark, there is a dark stoned castle known as House Thane Teblar. In her study, the matriarch Valdama is in her trance. And during this time, she is conversing with Lald. <laughs> oh, Valdama. She my sweet and wonderful servant. What news do I have to Valdama. bring? Valdama. It is very chaotic. Your ex-servant, Lucius, is on the surface, alive. And guess what? He is spreading the news of the god, Noct, instead of the word of Lulth. He has turned his back and hopes that you will never find him. <laughs> But always, I have my eye on him, and I wanted to let you know. So, with this information, do what you must. Valdama replies, Yes, my queen, I shall have that traitorous cat finally taken care of, even though I thought it was already done. <sighs> I shall make sure that he does not breathe anymore. Valdama rises from her trance and calls upon Elise, her own daughter, the one who trained Lucius in the art of torture. She then turns to her and says, Did you know he escaped? Did you know that he's alive on the surface? Elise responds with, No, I didn't, my mother. But what shall we do? What is he doing on the surface? He is spreading the awful word of Nacht, and I shall make sure that Hairball is killed for his insolence. You need to call on Quantum Zoland and make sure he is paid handsomely. Who's uh, It's a god. Oh, the garage working out? Oh. It's a god. Is that... it one of your homebrew ones? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's a, it's a god. Sure. It's a god that uh, drow worship. A darkness. Not much is known yet. Just. I, I knew that would throw you, throw you for a loop. <laughs> I, was, I was like, is that mask? No, that's not mask. Uh, I don't recognize the name at the end, but I'm assuming that's who's coming after me. Elise? No. Would you like uh, to say the Quantum, name? Quantum something? Quantum Zoland. Oh. Quantum Zoland. Mm -hmm. this is the Quantum Time Force Ranger? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to have to make a recording for that encounter as well. Oh, Lord. 
So what did you guys think of tonight's session? Recording, all that fun jazz? Fun session. Hey, cool. Beautiful. Keeps me on the edge of my seat every time. Brandon. I'm go I got to the other side and say god awful. Just terrible <laughs> trash. Huh? I'm going to go to the other side and say god awful, terrible trash. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Get out of here. I see you smiling, you Damn. I need a cigarette. Also, didn't you get stabbed in the eye by one of your kids? Yeah. During the session? Yeah, my my, yo my younger son, he, well, not the middle child, I guess. Yeah, he, he stabbed me in the eye. <laughs> you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. He's got sharp little nails, but at least my eye's stronger than that. True. True. My eye will pierce the heck. So. Pulling my beard. Kaleo. Yeah. Towards my recording, how how do you feel about that? Bro, they called me a hairball. <laughs> if Lucas ever finds that out, he might, he might just break and fucking <laughs> kill every drow. <laughs> I will be the new. I will be the new prime race. The Tabaxi will follow me. <laughs> Well, she is. I. I, I that's, she, that's one of the classic races I haven't played yet. In the okay, okay, we're gonna brush your teeth. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> I haven't played it to Baxi yet. I need to make a character for that. That would be interesting. <laughs> but I, I did you like that? Uh, uh, Loth lied. Oh, that was excellent. <laughs> Walt is down to find out who wins. <laughs> oh, this is gonna... You never know, because uh, I'll see how this encounter goes, how I'm gonna play it out for when they uh, get Quantum into the their castle. Whoever comes after me, if, he die, if I kill him, I will eat his heart. If he kills me, well... <laughs> Contract. I will eat my heart. No. Con contract fulfilled. <laughs> yeah. When yeah. Mead will come back. <laughs> hey, how y'all doing? Is that a dead cat? Oh shit! This is uh, is probably happy that his best friend right now has invisibility. Oh yeah, that's gonna be very very nice when we come back to this fight. Oh, oh yeah. we're gonna ambush the fuck out of this quantum ranger. <laughs> yeah. That ain't um, even coming up yet. Uh, is it? If, if, if I can knock him out without killing him, that would be best. That's my goal right now. <sighs> okay, way, I'll hide his head off. He's ready for bed. <laughs> All right. That way I, his Later. heart. Like... Have a good night, Brandon. Bye. Yeah. Bye. 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 Yeah, Leo. Bye. Bye. <laughs> see you, you in two weeks, can... Brandon. Or yeah, well, see you next week, I should say. Thanks Cause... for the session, brother. No, oh, no, not a problem. And I'm glad you uh, oh. got to enjoy. Uh, which I should say to the stream, have a wonderful night, you guys. See you in two weeks. Um, hopefully y'all enjoyed that. Uh, I should go over to really quick. I'm interested to find out if the party kills me before I, uh, the assassin does. I'll never <laughs> let that happen. Well, Savitar got close. Yeah, but I'll never let it like actually go down. Like he couldn't, <laughs> he couldn't get you down to zero. Well, I don't have this signed in on here, but oh yes, I do. Oh, Monty's playing Super. Oh no, Monty's playing Final Fantasy. Bosco's playing. Right. Uh, creator dashboard. Alrighty, guys, I'm gonna head to bed. I got right. one ridiculous later. Yeah, yeah no worries. worries. One more update, Kaleo. So. Good night. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. All right. Uh, it's really quick. I'm gonna try to do a quick raid for anybody that's here, and then I'm gonna end the stream. You got five people. Yeah, You're five good, people. Man. Okay, if my thing would load. <laughs> yep. uh, raid channel. 
uh, who do I want it? You know, let's do the voice actor Edward Bosco. All right, guys. Enjoy the night. And go say hi to Bosco. And we... Hi, Bosco. Are... Whoa. Whoa. He's got 79 viewers, bro. Yeah, well, that's the only live people I really have. <laughs> oh. <laughs>